What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to 303 Streets. Today we're working on a Tesla Model 3. Oh, sorry, just checking. That was a dent. It's not okay, it's a reflection. <laughs> um, we're working on adding extra turn signals. So let me show you what I mean. Your car comes stock with these. We upgraded to that. So you want to know how to install them? I'm going to show you really quick how. So I actually bought these off of Amazon. They were like $35, I think. So first thing you want to do is remove this. So it just has some clips. As you can see, there's a clip there, 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 and there. So you have to just kind of pry that up. Uh, after you get that off, um, you're going to come over to here. You're going to remove two 8 millimeter bolts. Uh, one right there. And then there's one right there. So two right there. You can unplug this. You can unplug the brake light. So you just kind of push back on that. And then press down and pull out. So that's going to be forward. Push it back. And it kind of just pulls out. Uh, you're going to come over to the tail light. I'm going to remove this. This just screws on. So you're going to unscrew that. And then there's going to be this bolt after you take off the tail light. So you're going to take the tail light off. It's going to be held in by that. Those two little uh, clips that are permanently on there. You're going to have to give them a pretty good tug to get them out. There's the two 8mm bolts. And then, like I said, you'll remove this 10 millimeter bolt that goes right there. So now you have access to the tail light. How do you remove this? So um, here's the regular one. To me, this was honestly the most difficult part was getting this out. So I removed that, got access under there so I can push out on this one. I can only reach this one. Um, but I was able to get it out, I pushed on it, and then you kind of have to, I used a towel and a thin, thin screwdriver to kind of pry this other one out. Again, this is the most difficult part for me on both of them. Um, so yeah, that's removed. And so is that one. So um, yeah, once you get that out, this one kind of plops back in the same. So what I did to make this super easily, super simple, little ghetto, but it works. Um, every video I've seen, you either have to remove the bumper completely or I'm seeing people pry on this and they're prying really hard and really just tugging on it so they can get their arm in there. Um, I didn't really want to do that. So I cut the wires, uh, super simple. I cut them just because again, to me, I don't want to pry, pry on the plastic and I don't want to remove the bumper fully. So that's what I did. So I cut them in half, uh, put the wire connectors on um, one end, obviously the end that plugs in to the tail light so I could feed this one through. So as you see, you just start feeding it through this hole. Um, there's one, I, I plugged them in first. So I feed one through, again, not easy with one hand. And then you feed the other one through. Um, I was feeding it through and as you can see, they're not taped evenly. They're not taped evenly, so you can do that. You're not gonna be able to fit both clips in at once. So you feed one through, feed the other through. Fed this through so I could keep most of the sheathing, and that's why I taped it. Fed them through, and unfortunately, you do have to pry a little bit. As you can see, that's about all I had to pry, and I was able to get down in there. So luckily, when you feed the wires through, um, they automatically just force their way up. So they force their way up. I will I'll finish putting this in. Uh, this just eventually clips in. I'm gonna connect my wires. Oh, see, and there went the sheathing. And that's why you tape it. So um, I'll fix that. That's not that big of a deal for me. Um, like I said, it's already pretty much through. But um, so yeah, be careful when you do that. So you can kind of see them. So I'm gonna see. All right, my sheathing still has some of it so um yeah just honestly do that again then what you're going to want to do is 
plug this in. So I fed this through and then you just plug it in like you unplug the other one. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna feed all this slack through here so that the only thing that's really sitting out is this. Yes, the wires are gonna be kind of pressed, but they're not gonna get cut or anything. So that's the good thing about that is um, doesn't really harm them at all. As you saw over there, it didn't really harm them. And uh, yeah, that's really it. So that's how I uh, installed my lights. Try to just do a quick, you know, video. Sorry, everything's so messy and dirty. Uh, the car needs to be washed. But uh, yeah, that's all I really did. And like I said, I'm gonna, I'll put the sheathing back on so that it protects the wires a little bit more and I'll push this up. So again, when you're feeding this in, you're gonna wanna feed it. So you can kind of see the movement with it. Feed it and uh, make sure you're pulling at the same time so that it doesn't snag but gentle be very gentle with the wires but yeah that's um how i did mine and again i did it this way because this is the easiest way without removing the bumper the whole way or prying on this like crazy so um hopefully you found this video helpful again reassemble it the way you tore it apart um i'll put a clip on with both the flashers on uh when i get it installed all right so as you can see both of them are working with the tail lights. So, yeah, that's how I added um, the lights. Um, the tools that you'll need really quick should be, I should have said this at the beginning of the video, but I kind of said it as we we're going. Uh, you'll need some flat heads, uh, 10 millimeter socket, eight millimeter socket, and if you did what I did, wire cutters and crimpers. So. Now I'm just gonna put everything back together and yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is the 2022 Tesla Model 3. Uh, some things to come on it is gonna be a little carbon fiber wing to go with the carbon fiber lip. That is also gonna get a carbon fiber rear diffuser. Um, that'll be it for the carbon fiber on the outside. And on the inside we have the carbon fiber uh, door kind of covers. So that's really gonna be it. That's all the really, modifications we're going to do besides maybe window tint in the back and the front not super dark but a little bit and then uh yeah that's pretty much it so hopefully you found this video helpful if so uh please like and subscribe if you have any questions comments concerns leave them at the bottom and again yes this is not the most professional way to do it i didn't want to take off the bumper because you know sometimes when you take it off it doesn't go on quite right um it took me a while when i took my hood off on the forerunner to make sure that it was lined up perfectly and just little tweaks here and there. So that's why I decided to cut the wires and do the least amount of stress on the bumper, which again, you saw, you just have to pull it back just a hair to get the wires through. And um, to me, this made the most logical sense and the easiest way to do it. So again, if you found this video helpful, please like, please subscribe and have a good day. Thank you for watching 303 Streets.